children who come from dysfunctional families learn to take on roles in order to cope with toxic behaviors in their household. Such upbringings affect their traits and habits they carry into adulthood. Those who come from a background of alcohol or drug abuse experience a turbulent childhood and end up playing certain roles to alleviate the sadness, humiliation, or anger they feel. Family dynamics that include other compulsive behavior such as gambling or overeating, overly strict and religious attitudes, narcissism, and physical, emotional, or sexual abuse may also affect children to take on the same roles. People may identify with more than just one role when they grow up in chaotic households. These are five types of children from toxic families. 1. The Hero or Responsible Child The hero or responsible child is wise and mature beyond their years. They're self-sufficient, perfectionist, overachieving, and seemingly composed. In reality though, they suffer silently and carry the burden of sadness from their parents' toxic behavior. They're afraid of becoming like their parents, so they learn to be the exact opposite. For example, if the hero has a narcissistic and abusive parent, they usually try to be the favorite child, relying on good performance in order to receive love. 2. The Scapegoat or Troublemaker The scapegoat or troublemaker is angry and defensive. At school, the scapegoat is typically the leader within their social group and often get in trouble because that's how they learn to get the most attention. But because they've built walls around themselves out of fear, their relationship with others may be superficial. Toxic parents are usually extremely ashamed of them as they try to convey their situation by acting out family problems that are usually ignored at home. But beneath that hard exterior, they're very emotionally sensitive. They're either the loud, rebellious type or the one easily picked on. And since they've been hurt by their abusive parent, they can be self-destructive. 3. The Lost Child or Dreamer The lost child or dreamer is invisible within their family and tries to cope with the family's struggles by disappearing and reading books, daydreaming, or watching movies. They rarely get in trouble because everyone sees them as a good kid. It's assumed they also have a good, healthy life at home. The lost child is typically very shy and enjoys having a lot of space and solitude, causing others to view them as loners. Since they're more withdrawn, they struggle to develop important social skills and relationships with others, and often suffer from low self-esteem. 4. The Mascot or Class Clown The mascot or class clown is usually known as the cute one. They're always ready to lighten the mood with jokes or entertaining shows. Their dysfunctional family makes them feel powerless, so they try to cope by breaking the anger, tension, and conflict with fun and humor. Most mascot children have a friendly disposition and are described as overly nice. Mascot children enjoy helping others because it distracts them from their own problems. Beneath their cheerful demeanor, however, they usually suffer from low self-esteem, anxiety, and depression, developing workaholic tendencies to make up for their insecurities. They also find it painful to ask for help when they're hurt, so they put on a brave smile for the world. 5. The Enabler or Caretaker the enabler or caretaker is typically married to an addict, but children can also take on this role. They listen to and console the addict while encouraging other families not to react negatively. Because the enabler doesn't know how to cope with toxic behavior, they make excuses for the addict's alcohol or drug problems and deny such problems exist, masking the family's downfalls to make sure the public sees them as a happy, well-rounded family. Do you identify with one or more of these five types? Is there any advice you'd like to provide to those who come from toxic families? Feel free to share your stories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our other social media and subscribe to our channel for more content. Also, if you'd like to support Psych2Go, we have a new Patreon account with rewards such as our Psy Pendant, t-shirts, magazines, and more. Your funding will help us continue producing quality videos and reach more people in need of help. And as always, thanks for watching.